next topic, which is something um, you hear talk about in different ways. I call it FinTech Plus, so you'll hear me throw that around, but uh, a lot of other people would just say convergence or digital ecosystems. Um, there's a quote here from McKinsey. They did a report recently on digital ecosystems where they forecast a trillion dollars worth of economic profit is going to be redistributed from traditional industries into these new digital ecosystems, as we call it. Um, a good kind of common example is what you see with Amazon. Um, they're actually getting into the same businesses as FedEx with, with shipping. They're getting into a whole range of businesses that go beyond just their traditional mainstream e-commerce business. Um, and there's other great examples like Haven where you see healthcare being provided by this mix of different people. Um, and it's not just uh, McKinsey that's talked about it. You've actually heard the World Economic Forum. I think this was just at the beginning of the year. Uh, I might have heard that later in the spring in March. Um, they're saying actually directly to the financial services industry, hey guys, wake up. You have a really interesting opportunity here with the digital revolution. Um, the question is why? And that's what I've always been really interested in. Um, basically what you see is that there are these nice connection points with finance and technology. Um, I won't spend a lot of time on this one. AXA Venture Partners for AXA Switzerland invested in Autolina. You see how they're getting into things that you wouldn't traditionally think are uh, an insurance company behind them, uh, but they are. There's another one, I forget the name of it, a moving company in Switzerland that was um, quite popularly invested in by a lot of insurance companies. And the reason was when you move, you're quite often changing your, your providers for cable and insurance and everything else. So if they knew that you were moving, they could get in touch with you sooner in the process. Um, the example I've liked to use for a lot of years, and I think it's really quite disruptive to think about, is uh, Tesla. It's famous for being an innovative company, having a really great founder. But if you think about their main technology with autopilot, it raises a really interesting question for the financial services industry. Um, who is responsible when there's an accident? Is the car responsible, the autopilot, did it make a mistake, or did the driver make a mistake? And there's a lot of interesting debates going on in court right now and, and in other areas. Um, has to do a lot with how AI makes decisions, but also if you are in the car and you have to hold your hands near the wheel, um, can Tesla really still say that you're responsible or its, its product is responsible? Um, and Elon Musk was actually asked in an earnings call about this about a year and a half ago, and what he said was, well, we expect the insurance industry to adapt with us, but ultimately we might just set up our own insurance company. Um, and if you think about it, um, if you look at car companies and financing of, of credit for cars, um, some of the largest banks in the world now are these offshore banks run by companies like VW or Mercedes-Benz, uh, and you could actually see something like that happening with the insurance industry being shifted out of traditional carriers into uh, um, you know, industrial carriers that are self-insuring for things like this. Um, it's really interesting to think about how that all connects and it can go into other things like IoT and all sorts of other topics. Um, this is a terrible slide because I thought you guys would be able to get what I was talking about with blockchain pretty quickly. Um, what you see with blockchain is I think really a great example of the nexus of all this. The technology um, to build these ecosystems that are digitally connected really requires something like blockchain to help enable the types of distributed um, agreements to take place. Um, and you see it in examples like how do you trade um, sustainable energy? And also I think the great example in the farm industry is you can see it um, in the prescription, um, I'm sorry, what's the word I'm looking for? Counterfeit prescriptions. You can see it with clinical testing results, keeping things anonymous. You can see it with how uh, financial arrangements go. Um, it's just a great example of how these two worlds come together to enable um, digital ecosystems. So yeah, I'm kind of um, bouncing around the topic and not saying it very clearly. That's why I wanted to end up on a definition. Um, for, for me, what FinTech Plus is all about is going a step further. Once you've combined finance and technology, you're in this very interesting position to start to uh, get involved in a range of different industries. So you can see that with healthcare, with using health data to improve insurance. You can see it with um, energy and how you can uh, help to trade the energy products more effectively when you enable it like this. Um, and the third pillar that we're adding to it to, to really make it more relevant for the fourth industrial revolution is the whole idea of sustainability because you can see how, yeah, really that's become the, the key factor as well in all these other combinations. But if you get those three together, as I say, you can actually jump across industries and you see how it's a great starting point, not just with technology, but also with finance and a sustainable uh, model to it. Well, thank you everybody. I hope you enjoyed it.